Game 1 of the NBA Finals. The New York Knicks delivered a four-game sweep to become conference champions. Now, the quest is for one ultimate goal. Just four wins away. The first chapter begins against the Mavericks. The pinnacle of the postseason. The NBA Finals is here. They're just one of five from the field. That's not going to get it done. Here's Mitchell. That's it. Coming off an assist from Randall. Mitchell's got eight. Yeah, never a bad idea to have Randall. They've done it. The New York Knicks are the new NBA champions. Tremendous. They go on the road and take care of business. And now the championship is theirs. To be on the road, to silence the crowd, winning the championship with all of it on the line. What an incredible performance. Hats off to this team. An incredible moment. You can see it in their faces. Forever known as NBA champions. And you can bet back home the celebration has started. Time now to send it to Adam Silver, the commissioner of the NBA, for the trophy presentation. Time now for the trophy ceremony. NBA commissioner Adam Silver, ready to present the Larry O'Brien trophy to the champions. Presentation. Time now for the trophy ceremony. NBA Commissioner Adam Silver ready to present the Larry O'Brien Trophy to the champions. Kendra, we'll start with you. Thank you. MP, congratulations on the championship. Thanks. Thanks, Kendra. Can you talk about having your father join you for the press conference? Was that his idea or yours? His, for sure. There's no way I was going <laughs> to let him sit up here and take credit all by himself. Do you have any idea how many times I shag balls for this kid at 2 a.m.? <laughs> That's true, that's true, but it's only because he felt guilty he didn't work nearly as hard when he was in the oh, league. I want to tell you about them false narratives. Come on, now. <laughs> no, no, he knows I'm just playing. Oh, man. Uh, look, uh, to be serious, though, it was my idea. Um, I wouldn't be here without my family. They're everything to me, not just my dad, but my grandpa. Y'all you know, know him as Truck, but to me, he's always just been grandpa. You know what I'm saying? And uh, he was around so much that... He honestly was like a second father to me. And, um, you know, he was always supporting, always teaching. I just wish he was here to see this. Anyway, uh, next question. Uh, please, you, 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 in the back, in the back. 
。有人说您是继已故科比·布莱恩特之后，在中国最受欢迎的 NBA 运动员，您对这件事有什么感想？ There are some who say that you're the most popular NBA athlete in China since the late Kobe Bryant. How do you feel about that? Uh, wow. <laughs> Listen, I'm not going to get into who's the most popular, but anytime you're mentioned in the same breath as someone like Kobe, that's a huge honor. You know, he was my hero growing up. Uh, excuse me. After, <laughs> after my dad. <laughs> Calm down, pop. Okay. <laughs> Obviously, um, most kids, you know, worship LeBron. And he is a goat for sure, but I always loved Kobe's game. Aesthetically, it was just beautiful basketball, you know. And his approach to winning is something I try to emulate as much as I can.、Um, I've got a lot to accomplish before I reach that same level, but to be mentioned with him that means everything to me. And if people in China love me like they loved Kobe, that's incredible. Because Chinese fans, they know ball. Xie Xie. Thank you. Hope I said that right. Thank y'all.、Uh, All right. On that note. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Yo. <laughs>